Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. First and foremost, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers. Thanks guys so much. Your support is really awesome. I'm going to start a new series now. Uh, it's basically going to be uh, my career for the Elite Tour. And uh, let's see. Alright, so we're going to... So I skipped the first event, which was in Vault C. Uh, I did beat that in the Amateur Challenge which um, you can watch a video, I'll leave that in the description below, but I think that there are definitely some problems with Vaultsy. I really practiced it a lot, and it was just impossible to get any fish there, so I kind of just gave up on that, skipped the event, and we're going to just pretend that doesn't exist, and keep going here, guys. So, alright, so let's see, we're starting at um, the Elite Invitational, which is in Grand Union, Nighttime Qualifying Species. Alright, so let's go to the Tackle Box. I'm going to use my core tackle box for this, guys. And uh, we'll see how we do. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to... We're going to start with my favorite one, the Pro Shad. And you guys can take a look at that equipment there. Also, keep in mind that when you're doing my career, you can take a look at your sponsors and then you maybe want to use um, some equipment there. So I got my Sonic Rods. Um, yeah, and then it's something you can do. I don't usually pay that much attention for it, but if you guys want to, then that's how you keep your sponsors happy, right? All right, let's start this event and see how we do. Alright, perfect. Greetings, so we're gonna start here at this pack. It's nighttime, so I'm gonna be well, using some bright lures and just using uh, dead bait. Let's take as well. a look at the rules for today's event. Oh, look at that beautiful night in London. Perfect. Okay, so we'll set up the peg around here. And I'm gonna start with uh, my dead baits over here. Just under this bridge here. And I'll put the roach just about here. We'll try actually uh, changing these dead baits around, see if we do better with them. Right about there. Alright. And then, uh, okay, I got a perch in here. So I'll start with that. Wait a second, do I have... I feel like I have... A, yeah, okay. Sorry, guys. Alright. So. Smelt. And uh, I didn't want to do the heads. I wanted to do the full fish. I think that... I use the heads more. I seem to get catfish with those. And I seem to get more pike and predators with the actual full fish. So... We're gonna... Put a smelt and a mackerel down, see if we do anything with that, and then we're going to just do some lure fishing. Now I wasted a bunch of time because I had the wrong setup to start with. Don't do that. Definitely do not do that. Oh, and we already see a pretty nice pike there. And yeah, maybe we'll get a trophy or something interesting in this session. I have had uh, good luck with the perch, so I definitely want to use that. But we'll see how we do here. Alright, let's try going this way. trouble twitching the line right now. Let's try one more time this way and then we'll switch it out. 
Wow, there's a big pike this way. Wow, two big pikes this way. So I'm probably going to keep casting this way just because I can visually see two really nice pike swimming in this direction. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. And I'm also seeing some uh, interesting seeing some action in the top water, so I'm, I'll try a top water lure as well. Alright, my last cast with this lure is not doing very well. Alright, let's, let's try a top water lure, guys. We're gonna try the smoky. Smoky frog, we'll try that. And one more time. Well, he was coming after it, but he just didn't take it. So we'll try one more time. I hope you guys are seeing the size of these pike in this area. That's why even though we're behind right now, they're going to be a good size if we do catch one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh boy. Alright, so they're just not liking whatever this is. Let's try the white. Let's try this. Try buzz bait real quick, see if we have any luck. But I could see the fish coming after it, so we're in the right track here, I think. Wow, man, that's. That is a big pike that almost always gets the lure. I just gotta find out which lure he likes. I definitely recommend that you practice these events before you do them. I definitely did not do that. There we go. Alright guys. So the Black Plague caught us something. Um... Let's just see what it is. It's not the big one that's after it. You see him swimming there. It's a little bit smaller one, but hey, I'll take it. It's going to be a good start. We just need to get two or three more of these, and then uh, we'll be ha we'll be singing. We'll be happy. Okay, this guy just doesn't want to come in. <laughs> come on, 
somebody. There we go. Coming in. Let's see what we got, guys. Northern Pike, 35 inches. That's great. Really good. I'm really happy with that. We're going to need to do better than that, but that's a good start for sure. So I'm going to keep with the same top lure. It seems like they're going after it. They're, go they're swimming after it. So if it's working, we're going to keep doing it. We got something on that. I was about to say that uh, at the 10 minute mark I was about to switch the mackerel on the smelt for something else. But hey, they went after the mackerel, so that's good. Um, it seems like this is a little guy, that's okay. I'll take it. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's a little wily. Come on. There he is. He's probably like 15 inches. 23 inches. Wow, a lot better than I thought. And with that, I'm going to put the mackerel back. Over here. Oh, that was really weird. But... And I'm going to switch out the smelt for a roach. See if that... Uh changes anything. I'm gonna throw the roach in that same area where those fish have been swimming. And I'm gonna move the mackerel. I don't know why he got moved in around the same area that we're fishing where we're seeing those pike swimming. Oh lord, what's happening? You guys seeing that? Every time I put the rod down and just swings it back. So I'll try one more time, hopefully it doesn't do that again. Okay, that's starting to get really annoying guys. What is happening with that rod? Sakes. Took it over here, I guess. See if it. It's not where I wanted to put it, but I don't know if you guys saw that. It was just glitching out, so I guess it is what it is. Wasted a lot of time with that. And then we're gonna try the Black Plague for two more casts, and then I'll switch it out to something else. Hmm. I'm not seeing the fish anymore, so I'm going to move away from that area. Maybe they're closer to here. Oh, it looks like a little perch was going after. Okay. I think the f I see the fish back, which is good. Oh, that's a carp. 
Alright guys, that lure is not doing it for me anymore. Let's switch it out. We're gonna keep with the top water. Let's try the Smithwick Frog. Devil's Horse. Just gonna chuck it where I see jumping. And we're treating at a speed of two. You know what I also would want to try? Maybe the spinner bait would be good. So I'll do a couple more rounds of this. Yes! Beauty! Let's see what we got here. We did fall behind, uh, but hopefully we can cinch this in the last two minutes. So I'm going to try to be pretty aggressive with this guy. He does not want to just come in though. Come on, buddy. Get in here. Don't want to lose him either. But I don't want to lose the new fish we caught. Which what I believe is the roach. Finally, he's coming in. Hopefully we don't lose that other fish. That's a beauty. 33 inches, guys. We might win this. Oh, it's the mackerel. So yeah, I recommend if you're coming here at night, maybe you use two mackerels. Instead of the roach. And that does not look like a pike. I think that might be a zander. Which is good, because they're super easy to bring in. Come on, buddy. Just get in here. Really? <laughs> Alright, we'll let him take it. And then we'll try to... He'll definitely come in soon. There we go. Yeah. That's a 23-inch sander. It's a trophy. Beautiful. Alright, guys. And with that, we are on the podium in the last five minutes in first place. Okay, I don't understand why my rod, that rod is doing that. It's getting really annoying, but... I guess it just doesn't want to let me throw it over there. That's fine. We'll go over here where there are some fish jumping. Wow, this game. This better not glitch again when I switch rods. Okay, good. Really need to try to get one more fish in, in these last three minutes, guys. Because uh, Andrew Johnson's getting pretty close to us there.
All right, guys, we'll switch that one out. Oh yeah, I wanted to try the spinner bait, didn't I? We're gonna try a quick spinner bait. See how we do with that. I also wanted to change the. change that uh, road for mackerel but since the game was glitching out on me I was wasting a lot of time you don't want to waste time like this good old reliable we'll try this one we are only ahead by 10 inches so anything could happen uh, we definitely might get kicked out of first place. But we'll see. Oh, beauty. So we did end up getting something with the uh, roach. Which is excellent. Hopefully it's a beauty. So you guys can see the value of uh, definitely putting some dead baits in the water. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to bring this guy in. I actually would have come here with a different setup. But we'll definitely try. 26 seconds might not be enough. He looks pretty big. Yeah, that actually kind of looks like Black Mamba. Which is a trophy fish here that I've caught before. I do have a video for that. Which I'll leave in the description below. And then unless Harriet Johnson catches a 10 inch fish in the last 10 seconds, we are going to take the podium on this one, guys. Alright, perfect. So we had definitely a massive pike on the line there. Too bad we didn't get to see it. Uh, and then we did get Nasher, who was a... Uh, a trophy mac mackerel, not a Xander, I guess. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we won the event. That's what matters. Uh, our sponsors are real happy. Uh, as you can see, we earned uh, a ton of money from them. I did use their equipment though. And boom, that's the first event of my career. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for all the comments and likes. And um, I hope you guys are all staying healthy. See you on the next one.